Hey there Poetry Pals, welcome back to another video. This week I am telling you how to write a golden shovel. I first discovered the golden shovel when I was in a workshop with Vanessa Casule at the Bristol Poetry Festival. Um, we were writing about place and she had all of these um, newspapers and magazines on the floor and we had to pick one and find a phrase that we liked and then write a golden shovel about using that phrase um, but she gave us the extra thing of writing something political and uh, I really struggled with it but um, to write politically and then I realised no I don't and it was really good to do and I think golden shovels can be a really good way of if you are struggling with ideas or you don't know how to start a poem I think a golden shovel can give you a really useful framework that isn't too restrictive to get your creative juices flowing and give it a go so without further ado let's get into it Boop. for those of you who don't know a golden shovel is a relatively new poetry form that was only invented in the last couple of years by Terence Hayes. Terence Hayes invented the golden shovel as a tribute to Gwendolyn Brooks. So the idea of a golden shovel is that you take a piece of um, someone's work, whether it be poetry or a song lyric or something like that, you use each word of the line that you have chosen to be the final word of the lines of your poem. The original Golden Shovel by Terence Hayes used um, Gwendolyn Brooks's poem, We Real Call, as um, the final words of his um, poem. When you use this as a technique, you, you it's almost like you are paying tribute to that original work whilst also creating something new with it. Um, the way I like to think of it is that you are almost adding to that work and creating something new, almost like it is your interpretation of that original piece, but it's always done with a level of respect and elevation. I think that's definitely the case. Um, for... A long time um, golden shovels were only ever written uh, with Gwendolyn Brooks's poetry as the source matter but you don't have to do it that way you can pick whatever piece you want to for your golden shovel the really cool thing about this form is that it is not difficult which means you can be super creative with it and make it whatever you want whether you're an experienced writer or whether you're just trying out for poetry for the first time the golden shovel is a really good place to start if you wanted to read any more about it, um, there is an anthology called The Golden Shovel Anthology, New Poems Honouring Gwendolyn Brooks. If you want to read more and like read the first Golden Shovels ever written, which was only two years ago, you can go and do that. Or you can start contributing to the tradition yourself by writing one today. And that is what I'm going to teach you how to do, using the same steps that I've been using for all of my how to write a poem videos. Now, obviously you might be finding your own rhythm by now on how you write, but I'm still gonna keep with my mind mapping and stuff like that. So that's how we're gonna get started. So the first thing is to come up with an idea. And when you're writing golden shovels, you need to think about um, what your quote is going to be or what the lines you're going to use are and who you want to pay tribute to in that. So for me, I have chosen, don't judge me, but I have chosen some Spice Girls lyrics. Uh, you have probably realised that I am a huge Spice Girls fan and I just thought that would be a great one to do. Uh, for the purposes of this video, I also didn't want to pick a quote that was too long. So my quote is, tonight is the night when two become one, which is from one of my favourite Spice Girls songs. And so that's the one I'm going to use. The next thing, step two, is to find a space to write and I am back on my living room floor, sat at my coffee table, ready to go. Step three, as usual, is to mind map. Uh, I've put my quote at the top of my mind map and I'm adding down things that I want to do. Now, obviously, as I said in my introduction, the thing with Golden Shovels is you're sort of um, paying tribute to the artists that you have uh, chosen for your 
inspiring line and I was thinking about the Spice Girls and obviously this song is about uh, sex and then I was like oh do I want to write a poem about sex or what do I want it to be about and I started thinking about um, what the Spice Girls have taught me and what their music means to me and I realised that uh, to me a lot of their music means like friendship and girl power and actually if I was to write about sex that would actually not quite be what I want to do. I'd rather sort of celebrate uh, the female friendships I have in my life. So I decided that that's, um, while the source material is talking about sex, my poem that I'm going to build around those words isn't going to be. So I started uh, thinking about that. Once you've completed your mind map, the next step is to do a free write. I gave myself five minutes to write about it and I was thinking about like a girls night in, people coming round, we do each other's makeup and we talk about stuff and being there for each other and that sort of thing. Once you've done your five minutes, the next thing is to highlight. And I just went through and picked out my favourite bits of it. Just so I was like, okay, these are the ones that I definitely want to use in my poem. So you've done your mind map, you've done your free write, now it's time to stitch it together and make your poem. And like we did in the villain now, one of the things that I definitely recommend is to write your um, words of... So write the words of each line down the side of the page like this. So as you can see, this bit's my free write, but when I started, I started by writing the words down the screen, down the screen, down the page like this, and then had this space to write the lines around them. And then I just got started. I didn't have a very long quote, so it was fairly easy to do. Uh, I knew what I wanted to say because I'd planned ahead. And it actually went quite well until I got to the final line. And here's the thing, when you're doing um, the golden shovel, um, one of the things you have to do, one of the techniques you're definitely, definitely going to have to do is enjambement. Especially if you've got one that's gonna end on the word the. Um, you can't have a uh, clause ending in the, so you're gonna have to have it running on to the next line. And that's how I like to do my poems anyway. So that was working really well for me until I got to the last line and I realized that the way I was building my poem, uh, I hadn't really given myself a lot of space to wrap it up and reach something um, with the, my final word, which was one. And then I started thinking, when I was writing it, I was like, oh yeah, someone. But then I realized someone is all one word, so it wouldn't be true to the form. And I really struggled with that. So uh, bear that one in mind when you're writing it. Don't fall into the mistake that I did. Um, but yeah, so stitch. So the next step, once you've stitched it all together, is to have an edit. So make sure you go through, edit your poem and uh, see if there's any tweaks and stuff like that. The next step is to workshop it or get or read it out loud. I definitely suggest both. So why don't you take it to an open mic night, say, hey man, I'm looking for feedback. If you've got any, let me know. Read it out loud and uh, people will help you. Or send it to your poetry pals. They can have a little read through it and give you your feedback there. Uh, once again, it is still Napo Remo, so you could probably chuck it into hashtag poets of the round table so that um, someone can probably give you feedback there as well. Why not tag me in it? I'm sure I'd ha be happy to take a look. Then the next step is to use that feedback and uh, apply it to your poem. Now, the thing with using people's feedback is sometimes you disagree with their feedback and that's okay. You don't have to use everything everyone tells you. You just need to have confidence in your style and what you wanna say to know whether the feedback they're giving you will actually help you or whether you'd rather leave it behind. So keep repeating any and all of those steps until you are happy with your final poem. And then of course the final step is to put it out there. Um, whether that's sharing it on the internet or starting to perform it or submitting it to uh, for publication, start putting it out there. That is very important. Hey, it's editing JC. I realized that I didn't actually film myself reading the poem. Uh, so here it is. Um, 
no title yet, but I think it's going to be something like Girlfriends or Girl Power. Uh, here it is. Come over to mine tonight. Tell me about what is bothering you. Tomorrow will overthrow the patriarchy by day and go for cocktails by night. For now, let's watch movies from when we were young, when we were just two kids playing at makeup. We will become who we are meant to be, needing no one. So there you go, that is how you write a golden shovel. Please let me know how you get on. Um, if you want to share your poem in the comments below or share them in the Poets of the Round Table Facebook group, I would love to read them. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out new videos every week and I look forward to making more for you. Thanks very much, bye.